Welcome to the voice of the Lord. Our verse for today is in Proverbs 17, verse 22. A cheerful heart is good medicine, but a cross spirit dries up the bones. There are many that are suffering today, friends, all over the world, because they cannot afford to buy medicine. And yet, even those that can afford medicines, friends, they are not cured completely. You know why? Because those medicines are not good. Why? Because of the side effect. It can cure a part of the body, but it can also destroy another part of the body. Well, friends, so many side effects of these this medicines. But today we are told, friends, that there is one medicine that is so affordable and very effective. And we, are, we, we call it a good medicine. And what is this? A cheerful heart. Yes, a cheerful heart is a good medicine. Amen. Yes. Well, I have ministered to a lot of people, friends. When you are able to bring them to a position of cheerfulness, suddenly the pain is gone. Suddenly the sickness is gone. Why? Because of the cheerful heart. But remember that cheerfulness comes from the Lord. Amen. So when you minister to them and bring the presence of God to them, and as they receive Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior and believe in His healing power, friends, hope comes. Amen. Faith comes. And when these things come, friend, then it brings such a joy in their heart. They become so cheerful, friends, then suddenly healing comes. Why? Because God heals. Jesus heals. Amen. And yet a cross spirit dries up the bones. When they persist, friends, in their sin, because the Bible tells us that there are many sins that are caused by, or there are many sicknesses that are caused by sin. When it is caused by sin, and sin grows, friends, it dries up your spirit, and because the spirit is crushed, it dries up the bones. Well, a lot of sicknesses can be caused by the drying up of the bones. Especially, friends, there are a lot of people that are dying too with all kinds of uh, uh, depression, all kinds of oppression, anxiety. Well, people that uh, have anxiety attack, they use medicine, but how can medicine cure anxiety when it's something spiritual? Only God can bring that healing, complete deliverance, friends. So why don't you minister to them? And if you are the one, friends, that is suffering today, well, the Lord heals you as you receive him as Lord and Savior. And let the cheerfulness, the joy of the Lord be in you. Because the joy of the Lord will be your strength. And it heals. Amen. Just believe, friends. Believe in the healing grace, in the healing power of the Lord Jesus Christ. Don't let your spirit be crushed. Because if your spirit is crushed, then it dries up your bones. Well, friends, all kinds, as mentioned, all kinds of sicknesses can come with the drying up of the bones. See, when you say that the bones is dried up, then it talks about the bone marrow that produces good cells. Friends, receive Jesus Christ. A cheerful heart is a good medicine. Amen. And be healed. Believe it that Jesus heals. Amen. So why don't you call on the Lord Jesus Christ now and be set free from whatever anxiety that you have. See, anxiety comes when that, that when fear comes, friends. Because you are so fearful of what might happen to you. Then you are anxious even about the future. And therefore, friends, it attacks you. You can even sleep at night. And it's drying up. It complicates your situation. But if you now put your faith and trust in God, may the healing grace of the Lord Jesus Christ be upon you. Amen. Believe in the Lord Jesus Christ and you will be healed. Hallelujah. Believe in Him, friends. Trust in Him. That He is your healer, your redeemer. And if this is caused by sin, well, it's always safe, friends, to say that I have sinned against the Lord. Yes, why don't you admit it, that you have sinned against the Lord. 
and say, Lord, I'm sorry for whatever I've done that brought me to this situation. I'm sorry, Lord. My neglect of my body, the sin that I've committed, I'm sorry, Lord. Set me free. Even as I receive you as Lord and Savior, let the blood that you shed on the cross cleanse my whole body and heal me. Say those words, friends, and do it in faith and believe and you will be healed. Amen. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. May his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. May he lift up his countenance on you and give you his shalom. God bless, friends, and be healed in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. See you again next time. Bye.